When your bruise turns green, it's biochemistry in action. A red blood cell gets broken down after trauma and hemoglobin gets released. And then macrophages move in and clean up the mess. And inside of them, an enzyme called heme oxygenase breaks down the heme into what? Biliverdin, carbon monoxide, and iron. And so now it's all broken down into these little uh, subparts. And that green color you see a few days after injury, that's the biliverdin. That's a direct result from the heme breakdown. And so eventually the biliverdin gets converted into this thing called bilirubin, which gives it a classic yellow hue during the healing process. So that's, that's broken down heme. And so if we're looking at a question of a 28 year old woman who's got ecchymosis in her arm and after a blood draw trauma, and then it later turns green, that color change is gonna be mediated by what? It's gonna be mediated by an enzyme that functions to convert heme into biliverdin because heme oxygenase is the first step in that pathway of heme degradation, right? So that heme is broken down by heme oxygenase into biliverdin. And then biliverdin reductase turns into unconjugated bilirubin. And so if a question is asking you, hey, why is this becoming greenish in color? Well, that's the progression of the bruise healing process. It's a change that specifically is due to the breakdown of heme into biliverdin, highlighting the role of heme oxygenase in the transformation. So that's what heme oxygenase does. It causes that greenness in the color. Ferrochetolase, you might be thinking, what that? It's the final enzyme in the heme synthesis pathway. It's responsible for incorporating the iron into protoporphyrin to form heme. What about bilirubin glucuronyl transferase? Well, that's involved in the conjugation of bilirubin to glucuronic acid in the liver. It's not responsible for any color changes that you might see. What about porphyrobilogen deaminase? Well, that's involved in the synthesis of heme. It's not related to heme degradation. And uroporphyrinogen decarboxylase is also involved in heme synthesis. So heme oxygenase is where the breakdown happens. All right, hopefully this is helpful. If it was, like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.